Here's a video we don't find ourselves having to make too often, but putting two great panels against each other from the same manufacturer. But REC has managed to release a new module, the Alpha Pure R, that has sparked our customers' interest. And while I did do a pre-announcement video on it a few months back, I actually never followed up. So in today's video, we're going to look at the REC and see what they've improved for the Alpha Pure R over their already great Alpha Pure module, if anything. But before we dive into the specifications on each of these great solar panels, please take a second to subscribe to our channel by clicking that big red button down below. And if you or someone you know is interested in going solar or getting battery backup, then visit us online to receive your hassle-free quote. We make the process of going solar easy and affordable by doing everything in-house from plan design to installation. We are your one-stop shop for all of your home energy improvement needs. Check out the Canadian Solar EPQ, a revolutionary battery backup system that features a compact design up to 19.8 kilowatt hours of storage capacity per enclosure with an innovative modular battery concept. A fully stacked EP cube offers 7.6 kilowatts of continuous backup power, which is more than enough power to back up your entire home, including that pesky air conditioner. Learn more about the Canadian Solar EPQ by using the link down in the description below. When it comes to REC, there's no doubt in my mind that the Alpha series are some of the best modules on the market. And there was a noticeable improvement from the REC Alpha module to the Alpha Pure. But with the release of the Alpha Pure R, I'm not so sure it's there. there's really an advantage to it over the already great Alpha Pure. At face value, it doesn't appear that way. And in all honesty, there are some quirks with the new Alpha Pure R that makes it limiting in terms of the inverter technology you can actually pair with it which if you're going to get the best solar panel on the market, you'd think you'd want to get the best microinverter on the market, if you're catching my drift here. But more on this later. Now, I think we can all agree that at the end of the day, REC wants to provide, as a manufacturer, the highest quality modules they can. And sometimes that means trying out new manufacturing processes because that's how you advance the technology. That's how you're innovative. So with that said, let's start with a basic comparison of the Alpha Pure and Alpha Pure R. The STC wattage range of the Alpha Pure is between 390 to 410 watts, while the Pure R is 400 to 430 watts. We are currently receiving from REC 400 watt and 410 watt module variances of the Alpha Pure. And the Alpha Pure R is currently only available in 410 watts, at least for us. The nominal module operating temperature wattage range is 297 to 312 for that REC Alpha Pure, and it's 305 to 327 for the Alpha Pure R. This is often considered the real world power rating, and most companies will size the microinverter around this rating. Now, the efficiency range for the Alpha Pure is 21.1% to 22.2%, while the Alpha Pure R starts at 20.7% and peaks at 22.3%. The temperature coefficiency rating is identical for both these modules since they both use a bifacial heterojunction solar cell design that is phenomenal in extreme hot and cold conditions. They both also offer the same 25-year warranty to REC Pro Trust partners like Pacific Sun Technologies, meaning you get a 25-year equipment warranty with labor and a performance guarantee of 92% at year 25, one of the highest in the industry. Now that we've kind of covered some of the basics of the two modules, I want to show you the power density for each of these because a high quality module should have one goal in mind, generate as much power as possible in literally as little space as possible. 
Now the Alpha Pure has a power density of 19.6 to 20.6 watts per square foot, depending on the wattage of the panel, whereas the Alpha Pure R offers 19.26 to 20.7 watts per square foot. Now if we compare the available 410 watt module options side by side, you can see the Alpha Pure actually has a better power density per square foot than the Alpha Pure R. Now, the two modules have a lot of similarities, and you can kind of see, with the most notable difference being the dimensions. The Alpha Pure R is a bit square than rectangular, like the Alpha Pure and other solar panel brands. The other noticeable difference between the Alpha Pure and Pure R is the power wattage range. Keep in mind, the solar module cells are manufactured in wafers similar to some degree like computers, CPUs, and GPUs. Out of the thousands of wafers manufactured, each cell is going to generate only so much power, and it's each cell's power rating combined that gives us that total power output of a particular module, like the Alpha Pier 410. This means you could have some cells that generate, say, 2.88 watts, while you have others that generate 3.12 watts. It's this combined wattage and give and take that gives us our panel rating. Obviously, a manufacturer like REC wants to produce the highest quality cells they can. Unfortunately, it's difficult to literally just make the highest wattage cell millions of times over and over and over. So you end up with bins of cells in wattage ranges, and as the manufacturing process of the cells improves over time, the wattage of the cells becomes more consistent, thus yielding higher wattage panels. Now, I haven't seen anyone offering the Alpha Pure R in our area of Southern California, and it's primarily due to one reason I suspect, the open circuit voltage, or VOC. The REC Alpha Pure R outputs at 59 volts DC, and basically all microinverters and optimizers for the residential market are not compatible because their max VOC is 60 volts DC. And you might say, well, that's not a problem. You know, the, the module's 59 and your max is 60, but that's where you're mistaken because you actually have to, you gotta take into account temperature at the, at the end of the day for your region, which for our region, uh, the temperature increases the voltage for the panels and then thus making it incompatible with say the microinverter from Enphase or AP Systems or NEP or an SMA optimizer, or Tygo optimizer, or basically any residential solar edge optimizer for that matter. Sure, any standalone string inverter would be compatible, but that's with no optimizers. So you have no module level monitoring, which isn't an option here in California due to the electrical code requirement of module level rapid shutdown. Now, there is a SolarEdge commercial optimizer available that you could use, but you'll be one, paying a premium for that commercial optimizer, and two, you'd be using SolarEdge, which hasn't had the best track record in the last two or three years. By now, you're probably wondering why REC would do this, and it really comes down to them trying to advance the solar cell technology. The new Alpha Pure R has a new wafer design, and there's basically no module on the market quite like it. Is that a good thing? I don't know, because the Alpha Pure is a great panel with no design limitations in terms of what inverter you compare it with or optimizer. But maybe REC is onto something with this new design and, and the rest of the industry just needs to catch up. At the end of the day, are you missing out if you buy the Alpha Pure modules instead of the Alpha Pure R? No. Absolutely not. You're getting a great product regardless. And I personally get a little reserved when a product manufacturer releases something that has little to no compatible products with it. Don't get me wrong, I want to see innovation, but it's been a year since the Alpha PRR was announced and it only became available in the last six months, and we don't have any compatible end phase microinverse, at least the eighth generation. And there's little reassurance from either party that there will be a microinverter in the near future. So I guess what I'm trying to get at is, if you're going to go solar, get the highest quality products you can that offer the most compatibility. This makes your system future-proof and easier to service 
over the 25 years of that equipment warranty. Well, that's it for this week's video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found it helpful. Be sure to subscribe to our channel as we have some exciting battery backup videos coming here very soon and you're not going to want to miss out on that. I'll also be giving some insight into how the state of California is doing under the new net billing solar program. That's some valuable information. Of course, if you're interested in going solar or adding battery backup to your existing system, please visit online by using the link down in the description below. We can help you make the switch to clean renewable energy in a quick and easy fashion. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next one.